The charity was started in um, 1990 by Professor Donnelly, who um, in his role as a cardiothoracic surgeon in Broad Green was quite um, devastated at the lack of support and treatment for people who were coming to his clinic. Um, and he was actually had 20 minute slots to speak to these people and say, you know, you've got lung cancer. And the prognosis then was, it was a death sentence. We wanted a regular stable income that we could then guarantee to employ a scientist to do research into lung cancer. We started um, to put shops down in affluent suburbs of cities where we knew we would get good quality donations and um, good levels of volunteers. That's paid dividends in the last 14 years. The two shops that we opened originally that fitted that criteria were Allerton Road and Formby and they are still two of our best performing shops. The Allerton Road shop's been here 12 years now. It was the first store opened. It did really well and that led to a second shop in Formby being opened. And from there we've gone on, we now have 11 shops in total. The difference it makes to our business is huge. Last year alone, we received an additional £38,000 of net profit on the donated items the customers gave us, and this was at no cost to the donor. We can fan them on the system and we can gift aid all the other items that they give us, so after the initial filling of, in of a small form, they don't have to do anything. When we've sold the items and we write to the customer, there's a real feel-good factor that if you've given a bag of goods and we've raised £75 from it, that you feel that your donation has been worthwhile. I'd say every few weeks we have corporate stock in the shops. So we are now, we've built a reputation, people know that we have it and they do come to us for that. We get designer clothing, we have bed and nightwear we do very well with. We also have um, creams and makeup, the ladies, obviously the price of makeup and all women wear it, so we do well on that, that side of things, so it can a real good boost to our sales. Our customers know that if they're looking for a new product and if they've only got 10 or 15 pounds to spend on an item, they'd rather have a branded item um, or something different and that's what we've been recognised for. If it's marketed right, put straight out onto the shop floor, it can, you know, your sales can go up 20, 30, 40 percent depending on what corporate donation it is. We've got an event called the Live Birds Walk, which is a ladies only night walk that happens every May. And it's brilliant, we have thousands of people involved, it raises thousands and thousands of pounds, but we also know that it's got a distinct life span, and so we pick a portfolio of events each year that we think are going to be popular um, and they're going to not only appeal to our existing supporters but also new people. The charity has certain key areas where we spend our, um, our money, one obviously being the, the research into the early detection of lung cancer, uh, others being in terms of our patient support helping people with lung cancer, with patient support groups around the country. We have got 42 support groups in which we offer advice, literature, information. Um, we also provide stop smoking services. We also go out to schools um, to try and educate young people and um, to try and give them a voice. We're not only helping people who've unfortunately got lung cancer now, but we're trying to help people to minimise their risk of getting lung cancer in the future. 40,000 people diagnosed with lung cancer every year. I think a realistic aim for us is to ensure that we at least reach the majority of them people and have made a difference and offered some support or advice or help to them. The main aim is that we're not needed anymore, that we have found some way to defeat lung cancer and that it's put in the history books where it deserves to be.